Hello everyone, Juggalos and back at it again in Schlubbin and Numbed It. Back with another installment of Schlubbin Boxes. This time, we got another box of Bloomboro. Bloomboro opening boxes. We're going bloke, going broke, or Bloomboro. Can't, I can't say it. I always say going bloke. Let's, with my dull ass knife. Let's crack her open. Let's see if this box grants me any um, dewdrop cures, huh? I, I have four of those things, and three of them I've had to find at stores to purchase. It's ridiculous. Alrighty, so let's get out the play boosters, out the play boosters. The music that you were hearing in the background is from SoundDraw, AI generated music. Stick it to YouTube. Here we go. Packs are now ready to be opened. Padoosh. Oh, that one felt great. There we go. With a beautiful Japanese pull tab. Okay, here we go. Hard card with the Matuda. Okay. We got Foil Bravekin Duo. Beautiful island. And ooh! Be, 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 ooh Lord Discard! We got Maha, it's Feathers Night Showcase. Starting strong with a big mythic and an alt art mythic at to boot. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. So let's see. No dew drop. So that was a single rare pack, but it was a good mythic. Good, good mythic. Alrighty. And we continue. Boosh. Let's see, how are the corners? See, that's looking good. Not like that first box. Okay, so fish token. We got a foil. Uh, what is that? Reptilian recruiter. Beautiful planes. Festival of Embers regular art. Okay. I was just talking about how I didn't think I had a regular version of that. And then Season Warren Guard is a good card. Stargaze, beautiful art. Harness of Storms. Alrighty. Here we go. And we continue. Boosh. That one was a little weak. But as long as it doesn't feel like I'm damaging my cars like before. Food token. We got a foil. Tempest Angler. These, um, these hybrid cards, man. They look beautiful in foil. Forest. And we got Balin the Haymaker. Oh, Lord, this card. Unfortunately, this is number three for me. But I intend to build this rabbit. What a powerhouse this guy is. And then we got the short bow. Still no dewdrop. Still no dewdrop. But hey, we're, we're early in the video. Who knows? All right, just dropping stuff because I'm an old man. Huh, there we go. And I haven't gotten any offspring tokens. The more of those I get, the better. Oh my god, this one was terrible. Did I... Oh, this one got some damage! Okay, so rabbit token. Foil longstock brawl. Beautiful swamp. Scavenger's talent. That's a beautiful card. Beautiful card. Honored Dre Leader. This thing just... Oh, it's such a good card. It's so strong. It gets a plus one plus one counter when it enters for each other squirrel and food you control. And then whenever another squirrel or food enters, it gets more plus one plus one counters, and it already starts with trample. Is, is that such a great uncommon? Jolly gerbils? Nope. No, uh, no dewdrop. I'm telling you, man. Oh, oh no, that felt terrible. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh well, we, we will see. We will see. Otter token. That one's not a bad one to have. Foil. Sky Stipper Duo, beautiful planes, and uh, Wick the World Mind. I want to give this one a go. I've already gotten like every version of this there is. Hey, finally a double rare pack, Osteomancer Adept, strong squirrel. Tight Color Mentor, Rare Number Four, Quick Dust Boar. Nope, no dewdrop, no dewdrop, and we're continuing. Uh. Sheesh. Terrible. Terrible. Okay. Is that it for the song? 
I'm gonna bloop this one. I really like this one. Yep, here we go. Boosh. Okay. So that art. Ooh! We got a signed one for the mouse. Look at that. Beautiful. Sticky tongue sent on foil. Ooh, a beautiful foil. Oh, man. And this is the autumn. Autumn forest. Look at that. Ooh, learn this card. Rao, crackling wit. So I got one to play now. Hey, what the heck happened? Play it. Did let's try this again. Interesting. Okay. So we gotta so I gotta copy the display and a copy to play now. There we go. Uh what's this this? Harvest Weiss host? Harvest right. Sugar coat. Hazel's nocturne. Nope. Telling you, man. They know the draft power of uh of dewdrop cure. Oh hey, there's a snail to go with a uh, whorl. Okay, foil Drift Gloom Coyote. A beautiful foil plains. Miss Breath Elder, that's a mm, strong card. Look at that. Look at that. One drop. Two two. Already that's neat. At the beginning of your upkeep, return another creature control to its owner's hand. If you do, it gets a plus one plus one color counter. Otherwise, you may return this to your hand. So either you're returning something else for value and he gets stronger because of it, or you're returning it to hand for value for something else. It's, it's, I, I really think there's something to be had with frogs in this set. Oh, Lord, this guy, we got another rare in this one. Here we go. Was it Hearthborn Battler? 2 3 haste. When a player casts their second spell each turn, Hearthborn Battler deals 2 damage to target opponent. Nice. And no dewdrop. No dewdrop. Alright, you. you need to, I need some 3 tree cities. Get me on them 3 tree cities. Oh, look at this wall token. Ooh, I'm not sure I have that one. Well, I do now. And oh! Ooh, Lord Discard, look at that! Foil Showcase Mabel Air to Crag Flame. Nice! Look at that! And then we got the mountain. And then, oh, Lord Discard, we got us a. Uh, what was it? A Showcase Azure Beast Rider. Rat Rogue, 1 3 with Vigilance. Uh, can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or greater, and then when it attacks, up to one target artifact creature or planeswalker and opponent controls loses all abilities until my next turn. If it's a creature, it's also base power and toughness 2 2. That's a crazy card. That's another showcase. Actually, you know what? I should be putting the showcases a little. Well, it's not like you can really see. We're just gonna stack rares and mythics. Dude, drop What up, pack boy? Woo! Foil showcase, showcase, and a dewdrop cure. Yeah! Dewdrop cure, dewdrop cure. Got me a dewdrop, a dewdrop cure. Alright, here we go. Mm. Now let's see how many this box gives me. So we got the Elspeth mouse, foil Wandertail mentor, winter forest. The winter lands, I think, are the um, rarest ones. Kidnap, that's a very interesting card. And then... Rabid Gnaw was another one that, in my original openings, I got very few of. Okie doke. And we continue... Oh, oh no! Okay. Ah! Eh, Jeez, did I kill that? Because this is a good token, look at that. How's the corner on that? Eh, okay. Well, I got Crag Flame for my beautiful copy of Mabel. Foil Polywop. Island. Oh, Valley Mike Color, another beautiful one drop frog. Look at that. What's it? 1 1 trample. When another frog, rabbit, raccoon, or squirrel you control enters, it gets a plus one plus one counter. Just. Chugid. Double rare pack and innkeeper's talent, boy. Twenty dollar plus card, baby. It's a, uh, it's Dublin season and standard, boys. Didn't you hear? Oh, Hollow Village, Long Rivers Pools. No more dewdrop here. Stupid. What am I doing? You two rares are supposed to be over here. What am I doing? Get over there. There's people yelling at me from across the screen. Yeah. Nice. Dark Star Augur. Offspring token, very nice. Foil Starlet Soothsayer. 
beautiful plains. Oh Lord, that's God! Dude, what is... So borderless Ral Crackling Wit, dude! Double Ral Box, look at these, right, he's right there. He's right there, look at him. Look at that. Gav, Scale Scorch, boy, you got the big lizard. Damn! When you hit it, you hit it. I, like, yeah, I, I will I will let that pack not having a dude up here pass. It was a nice pack. Alright, here we go. So ooh, shoop. So we got lizard there. And then let me see here. Uh, foil veteran guard mouse. Swamp. Oh Dower Port Mage. I you see these frogs are so interesting to me, man. Look at this. Was it one three? Whenever one or more creatures you control leave the battlefield without dying, draw a card. So when you bounce them, or if they get exiled, and that includes your blink effects, and then you can actually pay to tap it and return another target creature you control to its owner's hand. This is keep drawing cards. So this is so interesting. It's so interesting. Uh, Tango tumbler, flowerfoot swordmaster, shoreline looter. Nope. No. Uh, do drop cure. Alrighty, on to the second third. There's a wabbit token. Get, oh my god. Can I be a little bit more careful? How I... Alright. So, rabbit token. A uh, foil fountain port bell. Ooh, winter planes. Nice. Coiling rebirth. Cool card, five cost, gift a card. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Then if the gift was promised and that creature isn't legendary, create a token that's a copy of that creature except it's one one. Neat. And ooh! Fecund green shell, double rare pack. But check it out, look. Another interesting frog. Splash Lasher has offspring. And it's a 3-3. Three, three. When this creature enters, tap up to one target creature and put a stun counter on it. It's just bloop. And if you... I was it like, it's a 4-drop, it's a yeah, but it's a 3-3 three, three body that's tapping something down. And if you're willing to pay 6, you're tapping two things down on two bodies. It's neat. It's neat. And we continue. Yeah, that one felt right. That one felt just right. Here we go. Shoop. And ooh... Look at that. Got a signed one. Yeah, buddy. Baker's Bain Duo. I love this art with the crazy squirrel. Look at that. Look at that. It's a great. Um, planes. And Byway Barterer. Alright, so that's a rare. One, two, three, nah, nope. Uh, where, where's my three tree city? Need my three tree city. I think that's the only land I don't have. And then getting the the alternate arts for everything is gonna be hell and a half, especially for a card like that. That's a pricey ass card. Uh, oh, foil kingfisher, nice. Uh, Autumn forest again. And then oh, 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 oh this card. Rat colony, the special guest. Gets plus one plus one for each other rat you control. That can have any number of cards named rat colony. Look at that. Dude, making a deck with this art would take so damn long. Mm -mm -mm. Special guest. There you go. You can be right over there. You'll, you'll be off camera because stacks are close up. Uh, Thunderclap Trainer. I think that was the um, bundle promo. So I'm not sure if I even have this art, to be honest. Alrighty. So, no dewdrop. But this is another really good frog. Look at this. What was it? Uh, reach 1, 2 for 3. When it enters, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a land card. Put that card onto the battlefield, tap, and the rest of the bottom of the library in a random order. Neat. Alrighty. And we continue. Uh, 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 yeah, that felt right. That felt just right, baby. Uh. No! I hate these! I hate them so much! Uh, okay, foil 3 tree mascot. Beautiful island. And ooh, ooh, Lord, this card. We got a Alania Divergent Storm. 
Whenever you cast a spell, if it's the first instant spell, or first sorcery spell, or the first otter spell, other than Alania, you've cast this turn. I like that it's other than Alania. Was it? You may have target opponent draw a card. If you do copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. So it's it's another gift mechanic, but it's copying stuff for you. Three five for five. Neat. And then we got Gossip's Talent. Bone cash covers here. Nope, no, no dewdrop. Dewdrop cure count one. Oh, that one was terrible. That one opened up really bad. Ooh, but looky here. Manifold Mouse Offspring. Yes, 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 yes. Give me the tokens. Patchwork Banner. What was this one about again? Uh, choose a creature type. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. That That's nice. Uh, ooh, is that a foil winter? Oh, nice. Ooh, Lord, that's God. Another season of loss. Man, got the regular art for it. Yeah, man, my, my base set is coming together. It's another mythic, too. That's mythic number four. Two of them being Rowls. And then we got no dewdrop. No dewdrop. It's another offspring. Yeah, boy. Coruscation Mage offspring. Yeah. Foiled War Squeak. Swamp. Wishing Well. All right. Shortbow. Fine Wheat Mentor. Homecrest Escort. Nope. No dewdrop. Here we go. Boom. That one was a little off. I hate these. Foil, Thought Scour, Warlock. Forest. Oh, Lord, this card. Got green season. Season of gathering. Six cost. Choose up to five paws worth. One. Put a plus one plus counter on a creature you control. It gains vigilance and trample to end of turn. Two paws. Choose target artifact or enchantment. Destroy all permanents of the chosen type. Oh, oh it's not. Choose artifact or enchantment. Destroy all per. Wow. I didn't even realize. And then three, draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. This so good. And where we got another one? Keen eyed curator. Two drop three three. As long as there are four or more card types among cards exiled with keen eyed, uh, exiled with keen eyed uh, curator, it gets plus four plus four and has trample. Exile target card from a graveyard. That's a commander card if you ask me, man, because it's asking for four different types. It's asking for delirium. Practically. No do drop, but it was, a, it was a double rare pack with a mythic. Do I have all of the... I don't think I have all of the seasons. Shit. Let's sit down. I think I'm missing the white season. The season of burrowing, I think it's called? Okay, uh, art card. It's Frilled Lizard Boy. Look at that. We got a foil dazzling denial. Look at that. Hey, get over here. Island. Valley flame caller. Three drop, three three wizard warlock. If a lizard, mouse, otter, or raccoon you control would deal damage to a permanent or a player who deals that much damage plus one. I think that rate is too slow for standard, but it's not a bad critter. Beautiful honor dray leader. Beautiful real card for a squirrel player like me. And no, <sighs> no dude drop here. Yeah, that was right. That's the way. Art card. So we got Illuge. Christ, I in. Was it? Hold on to your cards, will you? Foil Mabel's Metal. Foil Forest. Caretaker's Talent. This was the one that cared about tokens, right? Whenever one or more tokens you control, enter, draw a card. Whenever this becomes level 2, create a token that's a copy of target token you control, and then creature tokens you control get plus 2, plus 2. I really love that that second ability is just one white. It's like, oh, did I get a really neat token? Let me copy that. Heirloom Epic. Nope. I, was that a Coruscation Weasel? Yep. Alrighty. We're digging in. We are digging in. Eh, okay. Another art card. 
So we got, oh, this one. This took me a while to, to figure out how this picture read. Just, woo. Foil Huskbuster Swarm. We got a Swampy there. And then Cruel Claws Heist. That's a good card. Dude, drop your did it out of the sky. Yeah, man. Count is two, baby. Two dewdrops. Yeah. Oh, it was that the card? Mind Spiral. Uh, gift the tapped fish. Target player draws three cards. If the gift was promised, tap target creature and opponent controls. I'll put a stun counter on it. <laughs> Got another dewdrop. So the count for the entire box is two. Now, I don't know about other uncommons in the set because I'm only really focusing on dewdrop here. Bushy Bodyguard uh, Offspring. Foil Life Creed Duo. Planes. Camellia the Seed Miser. Bandit's Talent. Alright. We're burning our way through the second third. Food Token. Foil Steam Path Charger. What is this? A Lizard Warlock 2 1 with Offspring. When this creature dies, it deals 1 damage to the target player. That's actually not bad. Swamp. Artist Talent. That's the one that likes to. Uh, nine creature spells. Shrike Force. Fun card. No more Dewdrop. Alrighty. Artist card. We got this crazy looking frog. What is this frog? Oh, it's the Gitrock Monster, so this is a special guest art. That's crazy looking. The Gate Blade Assassin, I love this art, especially in the foil, it looks really nice. Hey, Jackdaw Savior, ooh, Lord this card! This is one of them I was needing. 3 drop, 3-1, three, flying. When it or another creature you control with flying dies, return another target creature card with lesser mana value from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's pretty neat. Oh, my formation, Storm Catch Mentor. Nope. Do drop cure. Count two. We are on to the final third. On to the final third, ladies and gentlemen. And there's another webbit. And man, it! Oh, Lord, this god! Look at the foil glorth! Oh! Oh! Love it! Mmm. Three costs. Sultai. Frog Wizard Noble 2 4 Death Touch. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play lands and cast spells with mana value 4 or greater from the top of your library and tap to surveil too. It's so good. Oh, Mythic, you got right there, you shiny Mythic. Alrighty, and. Lord is God, got me some 3 3 City. Yes! Oh, look at that. Choose a creature type, add colorless, or pay 2. Choose a color, and an amount of mana of that color equal to the number of creatures you control of the chosen type. You're gonna have to go into my Balin deck. Oh no! Drop my cards! I'm too happy! Get, uh, here we go. <coughs> You're gonna have to go into my Balin deck. Alright, here we go. Parting Gust. Nope. No more Dewdrop. I don't expect to see another dewdrop, but I will always look for that card, because that card is ridiculous. Okay, enough for that there. Okay, so another artist card. And that is, oh, Season of Loss art card. Very nice. We got a foil, Psychic Coral, a Swamp, and oh, card. we got us another Mythic Boy, Kitsa, Autoball Elite. Two drop one three with vigilance and prowess. Tap to draw a card and discard a card. And then two tap copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. Activate only if Kitsa's power is three or greater. It's so cool. So you get over there. Stock in the pantry. Feather of flight, ridiculous card. Alright. Oh yeah, that one felt great. And, ah, oh, yes, Iridescent Vine Lasher Offspring Token. That was it. People are talking about this one. People are looking for it. Foil Night Horror Hermit. 
Foil Island. And ooh, Lunar Convocation. That's a neat card. Two drop in Orzhov. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain life this turn, each opponent loses one life. At the beginning of your end step, if you gained or if you gained and lost life this turn, you make a bet. And then you pay one in the black to pay two life draw a card. It's, that's a lot going on with this deck. It's really nice. Really, I mean, with this deck, with that card. Really nice. Oh, hey, what were you again? Rumble Guard Captain. That's the four drop. Uh, target creature you control gets plus X or zero to end of turn where X is Rumble Guard Captain's power. Alrighty. And we continue. We continue, continue, continue. Hmm. What am I doing? Okay, our card. Shoop. Oh, a beautiful little bouncy guy draws Oh, I didn't even realize he's scribing. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even realize that. Got a foil essence channel. Oh, that's a rare. Oh, Lord, it's got. Got a foil rare. Nice. Essence Chandler 2 drop. 2 1 bat cleric. What are you doing? Did I push the wrong button? There we go. All right. So, as long as you've lost life this turn, Essence Chandler has Flying and Vigilance. That's weird! So you want to do that even before you attack. You want to do that on first main. Whenever you gain life, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. And when it dies, put its counters on target creature you control. This is a neat dude, man. So... Better than hell, let us go! We got us a Showcase Dark Star Augur, baby! Two, three, Offspring, one for three. Flying Bat Warlock. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. You lose life equal to its mana value. It's Bob the Bat, baby. And it ha and he brought his kid. Hop to it, good card. But no more Dewdrop. Alrighty. Boosh. Oh man, that one felt good. It didn't go all the way, though. Alright. Fish token. Pearl of Wisdom and Foil, that's nice. Cost one list to cast if you control an otter, draw two cards. This is Beza number three for me, Beza the Bounding Spring. Four drop, four five. When it enters, create a treasure token if an opponent controls more lands than you, gain four life an opponent have it. if an opponent has more life than you, and create two fish if an opponent controls more creatures than you. Draw a card if an opponent has more cards than you. Like, it does a lot. Like, it covers all your bases. Lily Splash Mentor. He's a cool frog. Okie doke. What was it? Um, Dewdrop Cure Count? Two. Damn, that's what I was really close. It was really close to being all the way down. Okay, so... Shoop. And we got... Oh, look at this rabbit. Look at him. Uh, oh, foil Cindering Cutthroat, foil Swamp, and a beautiful Paw Patch Recruit. Love this guy. And there's there's my cat Blue right there. You see a little patita. There you go. Go on, Blue. Or is, the, is that box in your way? Go ahead. Uh, right there. That's all you got. There. there you go. Just needed a clear cat. Clear path to the bed. Alright, there we go. Do, 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 do. And no dewdrop. Wait, hold on. I love this art, man. I don't remember if this was a really good creature or not. So, 1 4 for 3. When you attack, target creature you control gets plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn. If that creature is a token, it also gains death touch until end of turn. I mean, eh, 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 it's alright. Alrighty. Ooh, that was terrible. Is that a fish token? No! Nice! More offspring tokens. Starscape Cleric. This creature can't block. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Oof. Oof. Foil Might of the Meek. Planes. As your beast mind. Oh, okay, so this is the non uh, showcase one that I got earlier. Nice! Shoop, 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 shoop. Nope. No dewdrop. And we continue. Damn. 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 Oh. Ooh. I don't think I have this one. It's the offspring for Thunder Trap Trainer. Look at the little guy. Look at the little guy. Just like, oh no. 
And it is a foil Long River Lurker. And we got us a forest. And Phineas H. Uh, Ace Archer. I keep saying H because I want to say Arch. This is a good rabbit. Look at that. Two drop, two two with vigilance and reach. When it attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature you control that's a token or a rabbit. Then, if creatures you control have total power 10 or greater, draw a card. Like, this is remarkably easy to pull off. And then we have Ruthless Negotiation, which has beautiful art. And no more Dewdrop. No more Dewdrop. So now we are on the last three packs. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me on this continuation of the Bloomboro Adventure. Look at that. More. More offspring, baby. Rush Shield Rampager. Yeah, this creature can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Shoot. And then we got a foil intrepid rabbit. Swamp. Salvation Swan. Was it a harder to play guy than you would think? So it's a four cost, three three with flying and flash. When uh when Salvation Swan or another bird you control enters exile up to one target creature you control without flying, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter on it at the beginning of the next end step. Like, you you have to build around this. You have to have a mix of flyers and non-flyers. Wow, step it. Nope, no do drop. Pen ultimate pack. So we got an art card here. And it's Mockingbird. Look at him. Look at him. He's talking all this shit. You got a foil barrel guard mentor. Beautiful mountain. Oh, and Friend the Relentless who loved this card. That's a strong card. Two, blue and a black for a 3-4 Rat Rogue with Ward 2. If a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. At the beginning of each end step, create X-1-1 one, one black rat creature tokens with this creature gets plus one plus one for each other rat you control. Or X is the number of creatures your opponents controlled that were exiled at this turn. Interesting. Interesting. Do, 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 no do drop cure. No do drop cure anymore. It's the last pack. It's the last pack. Will I get another mythic? I've gotten a shit ton of mythics. Oh, that's another. Oh. Yeah. Thorn Plane Intimidator Offspring. Look at the little guy. Look at it. It shouldn't be wheeling that around. That's not safe. And a foil. <laughs> and a foil. Thorn Plane Intimidator, so there they are. A beautiful Foil Mountain. And Essence Chandler to go along with the Foil one that I got earlier. Not a multi rare pack, so let's see. Do I get a Dewdrop? Nope. One of the hardest uncommons to pull. So there we have it. Woo! So I got a special guest card. That was really nice. Got the Rat Colony. Look at that. That is so cool. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So 37 regular rares, one special guest, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 mythics. Oh, and foil glow! I can't wait to build you. And season of loss, two rattles, and a showcase maha. Oh, look at you! Oh, this was fun. This was fun. So my uh, my quest for a complete set is getting closer and closer. Now those race foils, Jugglers then probably ain't getting those, and that's a damn shame too. And you've seen my luck with the collector boosters. Those things are probably only available in the collector boosters and race foils. And I've gotten crap draws on these collector boosters. It ain't worth it to me. Um, I could, what, for the same price of a collector booster, I could probably buy like five booster packs. So I, I'd have better luck with that. You've seen you've seen the multi-rare stuff that I've gotten here. The crazy mythics. So I, can, I, yeah, I don't know about them collector packs. I was thinking about getting a collector booster box, but if I'm going to get pulls like that, it feels like the only way I would get halfway decent pulls is if I buy the entire box. And I, that feels really shitty when you have to, you basically have to get the guaranteed one or two good packs in a box to, you know, is it to feel like you got the value. 
I don't like that at all. Here, I was, I felt, it felt fun for most of the opening, because I was getting multiple rares, I was getting neat uncommons, got the special guest card, sometimes I had a foil rare in the foil slot, it just, it was, there was a lot of, like, little niceness that you can get in these packs. I just, I don't know about the collector boosters, though. Don't know about those. Alrighty, so thank you very much for joining me on this one. If you like my quirky content, like, comment, share, subscribe. Wooshless loves numbers. Thank you once again. Stay schlubby, my friends.